Greetings everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri and you are very welcome. This video is about Niger, the president of Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, has come together to do something wonderful to the three countries. And this is the beginning of great thing. I remember when I made a video about the villages returning to their village and they were cutting the trees down. One of the family members says they shouldn't be cutting the trees. It's not right for them to be cutting the tree. And I was saying that because they left the place for a long time and they just returned thanks to the army, they have to clear the land. And that's why they were doing that. But usually they plant trees. And this is an example. 50 acres of land devoted to plant trees on it and make it very beautiful and nice. The president of Niger, yes, he's the president of Niger, was there to help them plant those trees. He wanted to set an example. And they have young ones too, from various, I mean, the three countries to join them in. What an example. Let's watch this video and I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. National Tree Day, first edition in Niger. Burkina Faso is represented, headed by the country's top environment official. Roger Barwa and his delegation joined the Niger authorities in planting trees on the 50-hectare secure site in the village of Gersalbadi, the site chosen for the first edition of Jena 2024. The time is set by President of Niger Transition, General Abdurrahman Tiani, to set an example. For Reverdy, Sahel was imperative. And for Minister Roger Barrow, Burkina Faso's presence alongside Niger is a symbol, a symbol of solidarity between Sahelian states to halt the advance of the desert and thus re-verify the vegetation cover of U.S. member countries. Since the three heads of state made the commitment and met here in Niamey, they have given the go-ahead for sectoral manuals to be organized so that we can move forward. We are in Niamey with the Director General of Water and Forests. The coordinator of the Great Green Wall and a delegation of young people from Burkina. Yes, as you can see, the president himself is there to set an example. They will be planting more and they will be doing more things. One of the delegates over there said he has a plan to make it even bigger and he's going to share it with the three countries. So next year, what they will be doing will be more than what they have done. They are going to create something like a, a global village, I will call it. People will be there. So when the people are on the land, they will be watering it. They will be looking after it. I said, great. Please watch more. I'll be back soon. Like Burkina Faso and even Mali is on the right track, i.e. regreening. The Sahel Alliance states have therefore come to share their experience. So we can see how things are going in Niger, and draw lessons to improve what's being done in our country. Solidarity also shared with the General Directors of Water and Forests in Niger and Burkina Banabe Kabori was also on hand to lend his support to the activity. Sharing experiences in environmental matters and sustainable management of forest resources with his colleague from Niger. In any case, we're learning a lot from what's happening here, and we're convinced that we too will improve what we're doing, because that's what sharing experience is all about, and we realize that in the three Burkina Malin J countries, we're practically in the same boat. Discussions will continue, and we'll naturally be diversifying even further. Collaboration and cooperation beyond reforestation, towards other environmental actions and sustainable management of natural resources in the village of Gisel Budi in Niger. The battle against desertification and desert... It is just joy to watch these countries working together. This is how it's supposed to be. No one is leaving the other one behind. They are working together in every way. When they talk about any development, they talk about three countries. Anything that happens is about the three countries, and it's wonderful. They are doing a lot of things. Please, let's listen to more. I will be back. Thank you. We need to take action to confirm what we've been proposing for a long time. Above all, we're going to youth because it's really, as we said, the spearhead of a nation, and we're going to involve them directly in all the organization, awareness raising, and so that it can last over time. This first edition of the Jena in Niger included an international eco-citizen camp, 
enabling some 200 young people from Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger to share and fraternize around environmental issues. An innovative idea that could be incorporated into the 7th edition of Jenna in Burkina. I already had some experience here that I'm going to draw on. We're going to share it with the members of the cabinet and the whole government to see what we can do differently for 2025, for example. Integrating the organization of a camp, here is a camp with many young people who will do the work and the authorities will come to observe and give the top debate. Yes, that was his suggestion, a great one. The young ones will be doing the job and then the top one will come and inspect it. It is great. I wanted to continue with another video. I will leave you here now and I'll be back because there's something wonderful that has happened. And I was so, so happy to see it and hear it. So I need to share it with you. I'm 100 percent sure you will be happy about it. So I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.